What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As expected and hilariously just a little over an hour since I posted our what's coming video for 18.3.2, Apple officially dropped it. It is installing on our 16 Pro right now and it is available for everyone. This is the most stable version of iOS. Definitely a recommended drop to go pick it up and download. There will be security fixes and bug fixes in this update. Again, no new features are ever in a double dot release. Let's go ahead and jump into it, take a look at the build number and quickly discuss. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see here, the iPhone 16 has just finished updating to iOS 18.3.2. And again, this is now Apple's most stable and up-to-date release with all the bug fixes and security improvements. So we'll make this a quick video. Obviously, there's not gonna be any new features in here like we said, but jumping into settings general about 18.3.2 has a full build number of 22D82. And obviously, as generic as Apple's release notes have been, they're not specific to what bug fixes and security updates are here, but it does say this update provides important bug fixes, security updates, and addresses an issue that may prevent playback of some streaming content. So that is the most specific info that we have in regards to this. If you're unfamiliar too, we are on a modem build of 1.40.03. That is a little behind what we have now in iOS 18. Let me go ahead and open this up for you really quick so you guys can see. And in here, you can see we are running a newer modem firmware of 1.54.02. So this will be updated here shortly as well. But for now, that is currently what the latest modem build is. Now, if you're unfamiliar, there were a ton of issues with 18.3.1, and we talked about that just earlier today in regards to what there was that this could fix. The camera bug was one of them, and as you can see, we didn't experience it before in the past, but there was issues where the Photos app and the camera app would not automatically load. Let's close that back out, and you can see it's working pretty quick and smooth. Let's use our camera control and it's still working very easily. Hopefully that has been fixed here as well. The more pressing issue that I had personally was Wi-Fi connectivity. For some reason, anytime you left a known Wi-Fi area and came back, this would not reconnect. It looks like we are good to go now, at least right off the bat now, we are seeing connection with Wi-Fi. So hopefully that will remain consistent and not have any issues with that. And then of course, as always, Battery life was very inconsistent in 18.3.1. Hopefully that should now be updated here to more stable, consistent battery life. If you missed our video on iOS 18.4, you'll know we still don't have battery intelligence here for eligible, eligible devices that could still be coming now in 18.5 or even wait for iOS 19. Don't really know for sure, but again, there are some security patches here as well and hopefully even fixes for cellular issues where, like we discussed earlier, it would not edit from 5G to 5G ultra capacity or ultra wideband, just depending on who your cellular service provider was. And that is mainly what we could have seen here with this update. There were some other issues with focusing in the camera app on older iPhone models, specifically around the 13 and 13 Pro. Uh, I don't have one of those sitting around, so we couldn't test it, but Keep that in mind, hopefully this will be a much more consistent update than what we've had recently from Apple. So let me know down in the comments below if this helps you or what other issues you are experiencing with iOS. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.